Hey guys, Keel Lancer here. Want to never Keel Lancer Gaming? Don't forget the bell button, subscribe button to get the notification to my channel. All right, guys, we got some more gaming news, but this time we're on the Game Rant website, and this article was done the 31st, and Keen is pretty much the person that did the article. Okay, Canada retailer lists his PS5 price and release date. Thanks to an advertisement from Canadian Game Store, there is a there is now a new spectacle uh, speculated uh, price and release date for the PlayStation Five. Okay, within the last last uh, uh, several months, a a uh, cocoa cocoa flame of the uh, update surrounding the release of the PS Five has begun to surface. Unfortunately for how much newfound knowledge the game the gaming community now has about the highly anticipated council so much information remains unknown regarding the ps5 however according to the recent advertisement from the the canadian game store it seems that there might be some new information regarding the price and release date of the uh, ps5 the playstation 5 is one of the most highly anticipated consoles ever created but is also shrouded in mystery since it was revealed to be developed in april 2019 next to no uh, premonition information regarding the console itself has been announced with the expectation of playstation exclusive titles not even the official design of the console has been revealed yet well showing with all with all of this being said where there's a thunder there's lightning and when there's no official word from a gaming publisher there are inevitable info leaks with uh within the uh, last few months alone there has been a multiple multitude of online leaks regarding the ps5 this month this most recent one comes from a game a game shop in canada okay the game shop in question play in trade of uh, vancouver now has the playstation 5 listed on the website for pre-order the price on the website is CAD 559, which is roughly 397. 397 dollars. They also they they also uh, speci uh, specified that the PS5 will release during the final quarter of 2020, with alliance with what Sony has been saying regardless re regarding the release date. This price range is widely different from the other leak prices uh, price from a uh, Danish retailer. Okay. With so much online uh, speculation regarding the PS5 and Sony holding so much information close uh, close to chest, there's not really any way to verify whether or not any of these leaks are real. Not to mention the fact that Sony has been taking its sweet time revealing new information on the console. They revealed the PS5 specs during the mid-March, but there's still no def uh, was it definitive information on the console design or how much it costs or when it will officially release. Regardless. This ultimately leaves the gaming community with a lot of uh, with a lot to look forward to in the coming months. Especially, there should be plenty of new information regarding the console, uh, as well as new PS5 exclusive titles for players to enjoy. With so many new hardware features already revealed, the PS5 is looking better day by day. Though, once again, fans will just have to wait until Sony decides to share more information. Sony is just like so in the dark when it comes down to all this stuff. It's to the point where I just don't care. I'm, I'm just going to be just wait for the shell of the system to be, to be revealed. They already had this stupid behind spec or overview of the PS5, which I understand what the heck is going on. What the heck was going on in that video? I'm not even going to sit up here and say that I'm a tech head and understand the, the USSD hard drive and all that other good stuff. I'm not even going to say that I understand all that stuff. To me, that stuff is nothing but the matrix. But I'm pretty sure a lot of like computer computer analyst type of people understand the whole specs to the whole Sony PS5 thing, which I wound up watching a little small breakdown of what what was what. But also, I sat down and watched the whole Xbox Xbox uh, Series X and the PS5 comparisons, showing that the Xbox is stronger than the PS5, and the PS5 is 20% weaker than the Xbox One. Which that's been going, that's been spreading all over the place, which has been proven. But the PS5 can make bigger worlds due to I think the SS the SSD hard drive, from my understanding, it can make bigger worlds than the Xbox Series X. Which is just one one hand up on it, which I'm pretty sure that's going to be used specifically for Spider-Man PS5. <laughs> Our people call it Marvel Spider-Man. Look, we're gonna call Spider-Man PS5 now instead of Spider-Man PS4. But 
anyway, which I've been hearing a lot of other rumors like, oh, Ratchet and Clank is going to be one of the first exclusives. I don't know how true that is. Lately, I've just been trying to trying to get information on it. First, one site is telling me, oh, well, this rumor could be true or this rumor, this rumor is not true. It's just a lot of stuff bouncing around all over the place throughout the Internet. But with Sony being so like, just so shut in about this information, everybody's just throwing all these rumors and confusing everybody, which everybody should just need to just relax. Just keep their mouth shut. Don't say anything else when it comes down to the PS5. It's because it's no point. Sony's not going to reveal anything anytime soon. Maybe... Maybe June, maybe just in place of E3, maybe, who knows, maybe, guys. And also at the same time, when you got this whole cool V thing going around, how is it going to be released during that time when this, this whole situation is going on? It's because we all can't be in the same place getting the same thing unless Best Buy. You order the system, you come, people come out of the Best Buy and bring in your system and bring it straight to your, your car door. But at the same time, you got to be careful about where you live at, where you won't have people run up and just steal your system and push the person down on the ground. But uh, who knows? Maybe it might not be that crazy. Maybe you might have cops out watching people and stuff. Who knows? But that's the thing that just boggles my mind. And then the price, three was it $397? That's like, I don't know how real that is. That's like kind of almost like the same price as the PS4. I was thinking like maybe $450, nearly $500 at least. That, that's what I was speculating, but then again, then there's these wacky rumors about that Sony's going to have a, a, a second model that's below that right there, which is going to be affordable to other people. Maybe that could be that model. Maybe it could be that model right there, and then you got the high-end model that could be $500, which I want to spend my money regardless or not, and I'm going to be getting the Xbox One as well. But anyway, guys, that about does it. That's my opinion on the whole outtake of that, guys. Don't forget the bell button, the subscribe button to get a notification to my channel. But guys, don't forget to check out my other videos as well. I'm going to be putting more annotations so you guys can check it out at the end of these videos. Also, guys, it's very, very important for you guys to comment and like. So it basically puts me out in the algorithm a lot better. Also, I'm going to be streaming some more things. And also, I'm going to be finishing up Doom. Hopefully, I get Doom done like really, really soon so I can move on to the next game. But this is Kill Lancer. We got more.